So finally, Microsoft making their Paint app to more useful for their users because they are adding some paint features of Adobe Photoshop to their Paint app. In this video, I'm gonna go through the complete tutorial how you can use them and how you can get these features in your Paint app because currently it is not available for everyone. It is only for Windows Insider. So basically, you need to join Windows Insider. After that, you will get that. And if you don't get it, I will also give the link. You can directly download or update it. But before that, if you are looking for cheaper Windows keys or Office keys, then you need to visit this keysfan.com they are offering windows or office keys at very cheap price as you can see seven dollars so why these keys are very cheaper because these are oem keys so you can use it for only one system like you have one pc so this key is only work in that pc you can't use that key in other system that's why it is cheaper if you are using microsoft keys that will cost you around 199 dollar that key you can use 20 times in different different pcs and you will not get any microsoft support if you buy this key you will get support from keysfan.com right let me tell you how you can buy it just copy this code from here click on buy click here add to card and view card here you will see apply discount code just paste it over here and apply discount just click here proceed to checkout so click here payment using card basically you need to fill all details here and make payment you will receive product key on your email and you can use it to activate okay so let's open this new paint app and first you can see the complete dark mode this is really really cool and the ui wise they are making it more and more beautiful because it's a paint app and first feature they are introducing remove background from images so how it is useful because there are so many websites you can remove background so the one advantage is like you don't need to go over internet and remove background so this process is offline so just go on file open any image from where you want to remove background like i added this image now you want to remove background from this image so just click on this remove background it removed the background from this picture right now if you don't like this like you also want to remove this and you can also crop this like this and again you can set like this now you remove the background from here so this is really useful feature now whenever you are done with removing the background click on this file section click on save as png jpg bmp picture gif other format so i'm going to use png picture and uh, save it now go into download section now you have removed the background from this image okay another feature is they are adding the layers so this is a paid feature in adobe photoshop if you are using that uh, you already know it but if you don't know so basically you can add multiple layers here so just click on this currently it is in testing mode so it is not working perfectly okay so you can add multiple layers from here so right click on it you can show layers you can duplicate layer you can merge down or you can also drag and drop to arrange the order so if you hide this so the image will be gone from here so the thing is currently the multiple editing in layers it is not working I added another layer let me hide this and if I go and add any image here so I don't think so it is working let me open any image here like this as you can see it is saying save it so I don't know how it is working so this is the layer feature they are bringing in future so I just want to tell you how to use it and now you can edit your PNGs as well currently multiple layers feature is not working but in a stable release it is going to work so you can show your creativity here whatever you want to do or just uh, zoom it do something like this so you can do whatever you want to do and after that you can save as png so your edited file is saved here okay and microsoft also aiming like we are not competing with the photoshop because that software is another level but the basic things you can do because every user not a graphics designer right so if you want to do some small things or basic things you can use this paint app so now this paint app is very very useful if you are using windows 11 and they also updated the zoom section like you can use mouse wheel to zoom in zoom out here's a one feature like fit to window so it will be set to window so you can also use this slider to zoom in zoom out and other features are older features you can use brush you can use shapes and change the color so these are the new features they added over here and in future they are bringing more and more 